Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today's video is going to be about my top 5 colorless unit in the game of Fire Emblem Heroes. I uh, should have used a plural there, but never mind that. So, colorless units, mostly healers, sometimes not. I don't really have too many of them as 5 stars, so this is probably going to be... Um, well, once you see my heroes, it'll be a pretty easy guess, I, I suppose. So, um, before I jump into it, though, I want to advertise my um, Twitter account, which you can see on the video thing. And also, shout out my Discord server, I suppose. Um, if you guys are interested in, interested in that, definitely check it out. The description. The details for that are in the video description down below. Anyways, let's jump into the list itself. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to my barracks. Uh, all right, so not too many colorless units. I, I, I have a bunch of jennies, but uh, we'll speak about that another time, maybe. But um. Let's see. Oh god, I should have probably came up with the actual um, number five through number one off camera, but I guess I could just do it off the top of my head. Um, let's see. Oh man, they're all so very tightly packed together. Um, all right, so you know what? At number five is going to be Takumi. Right, so now Takumi is um, on my number 5 slot because I got him early in the game and he carried me a lot through story mode and as you guys know if you watch my other top 5 Fire Emblem Heroes characters for me videos, uh, yeah you would know that I, I really appreciate when these heroes you know, carry me through story mode and early game content and likewise. So he's pretty vanilla built. Um, the only thing I gave him really, back when uh, I guess skill inheritance first became a thing, was uh, really Vantage. Vantage 3 was like the rave back then. And also Drawback, because I feel like Drawback is pretty good, you know? Um, the, there's the whole thing with like Drawback versus Reposition. But I feel like, like personally, my take on that is um, if you're a bulky unit and you're prepared to take some hits and you can do range damage, drawback is a little bit better arguably because um, with the drawback you can actually draw forward, if that makes any sense, your allies and you can, you know, using that move yourself one tile further towards the enemy territory, therefore putting you in harm's way to tank a hit and to, uh, you know, I don't know, just, just wait for a counterattack to happen or something, you know, bait the opponents. But yeah, so I like drawback on certain characters. And as a general rule of thumb, most of my wrist tanks and physical tanks that have ranged weapons, they generally have drawback. Uh, reposition, yeah, it, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna deny that, but sometimes drawback's a little bit better. And it's better to have a mix of them in the team anyways, you know? Alright, so moving on, um... Oh. Yeah. Let's just briefly go over the Fujin Yumi weapon refinement thing. It basically make, gives him Naoi's, uh, Halloween Naoi's Grimmire effect. It's not that great. Um, I... I... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they should have made it so he could, uh, traverse different terrains that would have been a little bit better or maybe movement plus one that would have been good as well but just a grimoire effect like you can teleport adjacent to allies but i don't know man it's so situational all right so second well i guess fourth unit on my list um oh god the frustration man all right you know what I'm gonna go with, um, wait, hang on, who's number one? All right, so, okay. Alright, so number four is going to be Performing Arts Olivia. 
And Performing Arts Olivia is one of those units that I didn't bank on getting. Um, I actually didn't plan on getting her when the Performing Arts Limited Time banner with the four dancers all came out. Uh, spoiler alert! I spoiler alert! I did end up with all four of the dancers, but I only went into the banner with the um, goal of getting my dancing axe Azura, which I got at the very very end, which is like it's kind of bullshit, you know. Like you set out to get one unit and you get every single other unit that you didn't set out to get, which I'm kind of pretty happy about actually but um, because my Azura ended up being a minus speed I'm a little bit salty about it uh, yeah she in she uh, performing as Olivia is not too bad actually so what makes her so great well for starters she is a colorless dancer which I had for quite a while theory crafted hey what if there was a dancer who's got neutral color advantage and disadvantages against every other single color and what if this dancer was um a little bit more tanky well I, I guess she fails in that department but yeah like i i don't know it, it felt it felt like they read my mind and they just made her but um the spider being colorless therefore no color disadvantage against the uh, other colors unless they use a raven tomb rip but um the fact still remains, she is still very, very fragile. In fact, she's really easy to kill on, um, you know, if you if you misplace her, she dies really easily. But the good thing is, she does a ton of damage, and she does it from range. Now, I'm not exactly sure if she does a lot of damage, or maybe it's just because of the plus attack one that I have, which I've given, um... Kitty paddle too, like she one shots mages with death blow three and I guess um I don't know how much attack she gets. Sometimes I put attack seal on her, so that's thirty one plus three, so thirty four. So she's thirty four, and then plus the kitty paddle is eight thirty four plus eight forty two. So she does 42 attack and then if she initiates it's death blow 3 so that's plus 6 so it's 48 attack on initiation. I think effective against foes gives you what 50% more damage or something I don't know. But yeah it's, it's uh, she, she's a pretty good counter to mages and also she is a uh, ranged weapon user. So if you guys don't really know this in the arena matchups when you fight in the arena the AI has a certain movement sort of rule they follow by. Um, the first units to move are just melee units without support skills, followed by range units without support skills, followed by melee units with support skills, followed by range units with support skills, and then uh, followed by allies with no weapons. Um, so yeah, she can throw people off a little bit um, when it comes to the arena defensive side because she tends to move after um, everyone else which which is kind of good you know okay so I guess the um, I did cover the good side the good side is she does quite a bit of damage sorry guys I'm just um talking here so forgive me if I repeat things All right so I, I guess that that's um yeah, and that, that that's about it for performing as Olivia. Reason I like her is um yeah she's very useful and yeah. Dancers are always good, aren't they? Um Okay. Now it's getting hard. I don't know who to pick. I guess for my next one it would have to be Brave Lynn. Alright, number 3 spot, Brave Lynn. There we go. So, she is... Now you notice I have a plus 2 here. Um, I don't sit out for that. I never sit out for this stuff. Um, sorry about the skill thing. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like randomly giving her stuff just to test things out. I gave her Fury 3 to... Like, raise up her tanking potential because... 
her default weapon, the Mulagir, mul has、um, the benefit of, you know, nullifying,、uh, nullifying rally stuff if the opponent is magic. So she makes a pretty good magic tank. So. Given that she's meant to be tanking some hits, I, I felt like、If、trying Fury Three on her, but it's、uh, spoiler alert, not really working、relax. out too well. So I might just change her back to Swift Sparrow, or maybe put on something else、um, later down the line. I don't know. But yeah, she's a player phase unit, so player phase unit that can sometimes tank if you kind of want to, but not very ideal.、Um, but yeah. So this is a plus speed IV one that broke my pity rate as I was trying to summon、uh, Cordelia on the eight percent banner back I, I guess two weeks ago now it would be.、Um, the reason is so the reason she is so good is because it's so obvious that I I don't know like okay she's a archer on a horse and she. Um, her Sakai's blessing prevents units with distant counter from、uh, counterattacking, which is insane.、Uh, it was insane in the previous meta. I don't know if the meta is going to change now that the refined dragon breath a part of the meta game now.、Um, as I say that, I I have my own dragon team which I really like.、Um, but yeah, Sakai's blessing very very good.、Uh, Nullifies. Distant counter stuff. So guys like Hector, guys like Black Knight, guys like I know Ike. Was Ike ever a problem, or just anybody with distant counter that you can't really one shot sometimes?、Um, yeah, sh she's a really good unit to cheese them with. She's really good. She's a really good unit for the PVE maps. She's a pretty good unit、um, for. Like if if you just can't be bothered doing arena every week, like because,、um, well they force a bonus unit on your team every single week, and sometimes those bonus units can be pretty, like characters that you might not particularly enjoy using, so therefore having them take up a quarter of your team makes it feel like. You know, a just just a burden, really. It, it makes it more like、um, you're doing a three v four times seven arena run every week, and that can be a little bit boring. So what I tend to do is I just throw in Bolin and Reinhardt, and I guess Anigo, like a random dancer sometimes.、Um, Anigo is still good in the current meta, and I just put whoever like is the bonus unit and just. Do my weekly deathless run just to get my free orbs. Stay in. I think I jump between tier 18 and 19. Just, I mean, they give like four orbs each, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, it it doesn't really take too long. Um, if the orbs are all you're after, but if you wanna do like tier 20 stuff, you would need to beef up your BST, which she is not suitable for very much. She's not very suited for unless she's highly merged. But yeah,、um, I, I guess I just like her because she covers a lot of range. She takes care of flying units. She takes care of distant counter units. Magic units are also no match for her nullifying rally stuff.、Um, and she has access to home cavalry, which is really good.、Uh, but yeah, overall very good unit. And yeah, a lot of these units on my list are just carry units, basically. That I find very easy to use and all that stuff, or、oh, like helpful to me. All right, so at my number four spot is going to be. Oh man, this is so hard. This is so hard. Oh man, this is, this is so hard. Literally, this is so hard. Oh my god. Oh my god! All right, fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a cop out. I'm I'm gonna fucking cop it out.、All、right. So what happens is I still have three units that I want to 
do. I was gonna put this one as a honorable mention, but she's just gonna be on my number two spot because um, Clarine. She's a very. She was a very good early game healer. In fact, she was one of the. Uh, she was the first um, healer I maxed out to level forty, and she's super good because she's a healer on a horse, lots of coverage, and. I guess that's it. Like when you're training your new units, you really need that stuff. You need need a healer to take care of things in the HP department. And that was before I got a lease. So with that being said, let's move on to the number one spot that's tied between um the two Fuck man, I'm fucking cheating here. But um just Oh man, this is so hard. Like Okay, so Bright Cordelia and Elise both. Alright, so Bright Cordelia um, because I, I just like, I don't know, like ever since this game came out, it's been giving me a whole lot of Cordelias, I tell you that much. Alright, look, now this is with all the Cordelias I've sent home, they just, they just keep going, coming like, they come non-stop. So I have Cordelias like up the ass. That, that's just how many Cordelias I have. I have Cordelias in the plus attack department. I have Cordelias plus speed. I have neutral ones in case I want to do that. I have every... I, I've probably got every single fucking set of IVs for Cordelia that's ideal for one build or another. Just because she keeps showing up in my pools for no reason. I don't know why. Um, I've also gotten my fair share of um, five-star Cordelius. This is going off topic, but bear with me, guys. Uh, but yeah, like I've also got my fair share of um, five-star Cordelius just from whatever pulls randomly. The first Cordelia five-star that I got was a plus speed minus resistance, I think. And then I got like a neutral, and then I got like a plus attack. I don't know. It's just, it just seems like the game. Is uh, do you guys ever feel that sometimes the game goes, Hey, I uh, figure you like this character, so this is the one character you're gonna pull non stop. And yeah, Cordelia is just being one of those characters for me. And so I thought to myself, Hey, you know what, game? Like, um, if you're gonna give me so many Cordelias, why don't you give me a bridal Cordelia as well? It only makes sense, right? So I tried pulling for her on the Valentine's banner with some free to play orbs, I failed miserably. Um, I figured I wasn't gonna spend any money that time, but then I've, you know, like looked back and kind of regret, regretted it for, you know, a couple of months, and then, lo and behold, um, she comes back in an eight percent banner in quotation marks because it's not, what, I did the math. It actually um, works out to be eight percent, but what well, in my case it did, but um, it doesn't really feel like eight percent. Uh, yeah, I get the plus speed minus resistance, um, plus speed minus the defense Cordelia, right, Cordelia. So, I, I feel like, um, I feel like this is like the, my character, like, in this, in this game, this is my main character or something. I don't know. I don't know how to put it, guys. But I feel like if I didn't give her the number one spot, it would just... Not, not be nice, not be cool. Um, I do want to eventually give her a lot more skills. Um, I have her on the Brave Bolt Plus because, like, if you ask, like, if you say Bright Cordelia to anybody, they'll just turn around and say, Brave Bolt Plus, Brave Bolt Plus. That's all they say. So that's why I've given her that. I'm gonna probably give her Fire Sweet Bow at one point just to see how it goes, you know? Um, Probably gonna learn all that for her. I, I don't know. Just don't have the time so far. Um, so yeah, I said she was tied for first place, and that's because um, Elise has also been helping me throughout the game for the longest time now. And you know, the reason that Clarine made the number two spot was a little bit unexpected, but well, Cl Clarine was gonna be an honorable mention, but I just cheated so. But this is my video, man, so come on. Cut me some slack, you know? Uh, but yeah, at least got a major buff because all the staff users got a major buff in this latest update. 
and she is probably going to be way better now. Um, gotta say ums a lot, but anyways, this is a plus HP minus defense Elise, which at the time is pretty good. I feel like with the new updates, the best IV spreads for healers might just be plus attack, in fact. Plus attack, minus defense. Um, Elise has pretty, far, pretty high base speed, but I feel like... Alright, so 32 is her base speed. With a speed boon, she gets 35 speed. You need 39 speed nowadays to uh, stay safe from getting doubled, I feel. Personally, um, can disagree with that if you like, but um, yeah, back then it was 36. So, the reason why attack is a little bit better on um, healers is because n with the uh, new healing skills, uh, let me just uh, right, so they actually off your attack stat, right? So, if you can see there, uh Physic plus restores HP equal to 50% of attack minimum of 8 HP and It's got a range of two and she's on a fucking horse. So this means She covers the entire map anybody need healing. She's right there next to them healing them for All right, so you see my Elise has a pretty low attack 36, but that's because I don't haven't got her equipped with any weapons So I plan on giving her fear plus and right now I probably put her in one of my auto teams so she's she doesn't have anything like equipped attack wise because otherwise the AI just gets her killed. But yeah anyways, um fear plus is a attack smoke AoE thing. Well attack smoke is AoE, but you get the idea. It's an attack smoke basically. And um it's got twelve might. Gravity plus only has ten might. Uh so difference of two might. But um, yeah, attack smoke built, built into her staff is really good. And if you refine your healer staff nowadays, you get a choice between um, having your staff with a built-in dazzling staff effect or a rayful staff effect. Dazzling staff, um, your opponents cannot counter attack, so that works out great. You can cheese your opponents with it. Um, and of course, rayful staff. You do full damage with your staff weapon. Your attack is not 50% uh, of what it should be when you attack people. I don't. I don't even know why that was a thing. And like, at, at you know, just just at any point in time, I don't even know why that was even a thing. But it is. So whatever. Um, yeah. Like, what else can I say? Uh, you can stack Dazzling Staff with Rayful Staff because if you have the Dazzling Staff built into your staff and if you somehow pull 6 Jennies like I did in the 8% banner, which I didn't want to, I, I just wanted Cordelia, but um, Jennies, Jennies everywhere. Uh, I actually kind of have a Jenny PTSD. Like I, I went and watched other people's summoning videos after I did mine and a few people actually pull Jennies in their summoning videos and every time that silhouette comes up, the smoke's clear. I'm, I'm like, oh shit. But but the thing is, they want Jenny, so that's different. But for me, I had four in a row before I had anything else. So, oh my god, man, that's just some suffering. Oh my god, okay. Anyways, enough, enough of that. Um, but yeah, attack scales with your healing amount, uh, Physic Plus, it generally heals, alright, so 50% of attack, let's say I give her 12 attack because of Fear Plus, so she would have 48 attack, and then I would probably give her the attack seal, or one of them, 48, so 51 attack, is that right? 51 attack, yeah, okay, so at neutral attack, she'll have 51 attack, and half of 51 is like 25.5, but they'll probably round it down to 25. So it's pretty good, like, you have a range healing, you have a range, 
you have a healer on a horse with a range healing thing that heals for 25 heal, and every two, every every two times she heals somebody, like every two actions she takes, she's gonna charge up her ulti or special. In this case, I play too much Overwatch.、Um, And it's gonna be heavenly light, and it's gonna heal all your allies, which is amazing.、Um, obviously, I do have lift the surf replaced with with、um, rifle staff. She actually ate two jennies. I forgot what I gave her. Oh yeah, I gave her physic plus with a second jenny. But、um, like. Even even these other buffs are really good. Like, why don't I don't know? Because you'd have to heal to proc it, and that's a little bit unreliable sometimes.、Um, I prefer the heavenly light because it just heals everybody. And as a healer, you just want to heal people, you know.、Um, okay, so imbue heals a little bit more, but why do you need to heal so much? Like, you don't need to heal beyond a certain point. I've tested out recovery. And like, oh my god! Like, well, if if Physic Plus healed you for twenty five, this would heal you for thirty five. And if you had a attack boon, it would heal you for thirty six or thirty, yeah, thirty six or something. This would in relation heal you like twenty six, I guess. So yeah, like, I don't. I don't think anybody needs to be healed for like 36 HP in one turn. Obviously, it's, it's that's like three renewals, man. But like, you shouldn't build your units to、um, require that much healing. But、uh, so yeah, Physic Plus is is just right, and yeah, I don't know. I guess that's my list. I, I guess it was a little bit unstructured, but I'm just trying to not sound like a robot, so I haven't written anything down.、Um, it's just gonna be a little casual video I do every now and then.、Um, but yeah, I plan on posting more video that allows me to just, I guess,、uh, chat to you guys about you know various as various. Aspects of the game without setting shit up. Okay, guys. Well, that concludes my video for you know my top five colorless units of Fire Emblem Heroes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.、Um, consider giving me a like if you did. And with that being said, I will catch you guys next time.